Well, he finished tonight with a timely thought for everyone, but especially for those on the progressive side of the American debate. Imagine now, take your time, concentrate your mind. Now consider if it was a Republican president who had captured Osama bin Laden. Suppose George W. Bush or John McCain had done what has just been done, capturing this country's greatest enemy. Do you think? Do you think there might have been some element of bragging? You can just freaking imagine it. That president would have been placed up on a pedestal so high, you'd have to take a space shuttle to reach it. He'd be up there with Reagan. They'd be calling for him to get the Congressional Medal of Honor. It's the difference in the two parties. A man of the right would be patriot of the century. President Obama, for doing what they only dream of doing, gets a week off from having to show his driver's license. A week off from Trump and the assorted jackals always out there barking along the president's trail. I think the sister of that 9-11 victim we had on last night said it well when she said how good it was that the killer of all our American friends 10 years ago ended his days knowing that the friends of those Americans had come to get him. That we Americans don't give up. We don't let our killers get away. Well, that was something wonderfully American about what happened Sunday, something right out of our culture, our myth, our spirit. The president and his people didn't strut about it. That's what makes them different. Then again, the best cowboy heroes, the genuine lawmen, the good guys of the Old West, from Gary Cooper to Matt Dillon. Didn't we learn this growing up? We're men of few words.